Hi, I'm Elizabeth. Aloha, I'm Elle. We are Aki Yoga Health Foundation. And we are here with the support of your generosity. Please feel free to donate, finding the link below. Today we're going to talk about regulating the blood pH. This is essential for staying healthy, especially if you're experiencing prediabetes or diabetes. Um, we want to stay more alkaline than acidic. And this can be done regulating the blood pH from one minute of regulated breathing, which is pretty powerful to have this tool available to us at any time. It's more powerful than medications or herbs. Mm -hmm. So today's breath work is a breath that will automatically help you create health and radiance. And radiance, our radiant body is a shield, according to yoga, of light around our body, also known as magnetic field or our aura. Now we say a strong, healthy magnetic field, it shields us from disease and negativity. When the shield gets weakened through environmental toxins or disease, drugs, we say that there's holes. So negativity, disease can permeate through these holes. So breath work, meditation is a really great way to strengthen your first line of defense, mm. which is your light body. In Chinese medicine, we call it Wei Qi. It's a defensive Qi. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> it's all, you know, which brings me to why I love doing this with Elle and sharing with all of you is because all of these paths overlap mm -hmm. And they all have helped one another through time, through their ancient practices, and have helped us. And as we share this, you can see those overlaps of the pathways and the wisdom of these paths. And then it takes us to a place in yoga we call the crown chakra, or the universal mind. And one of the symbols is the 10th gate, or thousand petaled lotus. And it's this point that when we're so open, we can see the universality of everything, of every path and its wisdom. And we come to know that all paths lead to the pathless path. Mm. And so when we meditate too, that health and radiance, the universal mind can really start to grow more and more within us. And as we see that and we expand ourselves, and our awareness, our radiant body, health comes so easily. So in this breath work, we take the right hand and we place the right palm and left palms together. The right fingers will cross over the top of the left hand. The left fingers will cross on the side of the right palm. The right thumb is over the left. So it's just natural. You'll have your elbows relaxed at your side Notice if you're hinging forward. Sometimes I find myself hinging forward when I'm meditating and just find a comfortable seat, whether you're on the floor, your couch, a chair, just make yourself comfortable. From here, this is a three stroke inhalation through the mouth and a one stroke exhalation through the nose. With each inhalation through the mouth, we Squeeze it and tighten the palms. So it'll look like, and then the hands relax with your exhale nose. So it'll be, so here we go. Join us, close the eyes, focus up and towards the midpoint of the brow. And we'll do this breath work for two minutes.
five more. Last one. Take an inhale, hold, and squeeze. Slowly exhale, nose. Relaxing the grip, hands come down to the knees. Relax your shoulders. Take a swallow and relax through the throat, through the tongue. Notice if your head and heart line up. Release again through the shoulders and bring the breath all the way up to the heart. That's it, and smile as you exhale. Tuning into your light body, the magnetic field. And now slowly open your eyes. I was going to guide us to a point to further help us with our sugar cravings and to really balance the pancreas and spleen. Mm -hmm. So because it's summer now, many of us are eating fruits and these fruits and other sweet foods can create dampness. So the point I'm gonna share with you today um, helps to resolve dampness. And it's spleen nine. It's found on the inner leg. Uh, you can find it by first locating spleen six. So you find the inner malleolus, medial malleolus, and slide up about four fingers, and you'll find this puka. Both these points are great for regulating spleen pancreas. So we can actually do both of them. Spleen six, Sanyin Jiao, this is where the three yins meet. You may know this point from our other videos. It's the spleen, liver, kidney all meet here. And then we slide up again to the next puka, and that is spleen nine. This point is really great for draining dampness, which occurs from eating sweets. Lots of sugary foods will accumulate dampness. How does that dampness affect us health-wise? Mm. Like dampness, why would we want to drain it according to TCM? Because okay. it can accumulate and become phlegm. Oh. So dampness is the pre-phlegm. Okay. And it happens when the spleen is not strong enough yeah. to um, transform and transport. Okay. And once the dampness accumulates into phlegm, then it's stored in the lungs. That's why it gets stuck up here and we're coughing up phlegm. Um, so I want to recommend an herb that's really great for sugar cravings, and that's my maitake, which will help to also balance the blood sugar levels. It's great for prediabetes and diabetes. As you're massaging these points, just go ahead and take a cleansing breath. Cleansing breath is good to do any time of the day too. Deep inhale, nose, exhale, mouth. A lot of times I find for myself, and I know talking with others, that those sugar cravings or caffeine cravings or those little energy boosters um, or addictions, sometimes we just feel like we need a little bump of energy. And the cleansing breath and breath work takes us into a digest and rest state, the parasympathetic state, where we're feeling more calm, clear, and focused, and where we can use and remember 
to just take some deep breaths as that's our, our natural way of harnessing more energy mm-hmm. instead of reaching for false energy. I think would be nice to ask hmm. is if you watched our two videos ago we also talked about the spleen and how good certain fruits could be for you we had a mango and we were giving the class in the mango tree and Elle went through a digestive massage hmm. and remembering that too sometimes we have that craving just tuning into our source here our mm-hmm. stomach and giving our stomach maybe some energetic attention with our hands mm-hmm. rather than reaching for food. Mm-hmm. That's a great idea. Thanks to you. <laughs> <laughs> and you. Mm-hmm. So you're starting from right underneath the breast. I think I remember you saying that in the last video. Yeah. Yeah, we were talking about yellow round foods being good for spleen and stomach and sweet foods, but less of the sweet sugary foods, more of the earth sweet foods like pumpkin and squash. Mango and all these fruits are good in moderation, but too much sweet can definitely dampen the spleen. So we can use the spleen nine, Mingling Xuan, to help resolve the dampness. And my Taki to help curb sugar cravings. An amazing ally to have. Mm-hmm. My Taki mushroom. <laughs> Thank you so much for tuning in. Let's just close together always just by coming into our hearts. Left hand on your heart and right over left. Just take a moment here. Close your eyes. Thank your body. Seeing yourself as a healthy being and the health and radiance that you have, that magnetic field around you, not only helps you to stay healthy, clear, calm, and focused in your highest, living in your highest good, but that vibration also makes its way out into your community and it helps to nourish your community with goodness. And then in turn, nourish the planet. And open your eyes. And this is one of the reasons we do this is because we believe one of the best ways we can contribute is through healthy, positive vibrations. And this is the way that we can connect with you and make this world a little bit healthier, feeling a little bit more positive. Mm -hmm. Thanks for sharing. Thank you, Elizabeth. Thank you. If you like the tips that we shared with you today, please subscribe and like our video 